There has been another security fail this week, and unfortunately for me, it affects the operating system I am using, KDE Neon. Specifically, KDE Neon. It turns out the SSH wasn't secured properly on the KDE Neon repositories, and there is a risk that any packages in there could be contaminated by someone uploading anything into them. They don't know if it has actually happened or not. This is the unfortunate issue with it. New packages have been updated into the repositories, so yes, you can now have fresh packages that should be uncontaminated, but the risk is, has anyone put anything like a root kit in there? Because unfortunately, with root kit, you will never see them from the operating system you're currently using. For example, if you went into the terminal and did something like ps-a, you'd see all running processes. But the nasty thing with root kit, that it could disguise itself from that list. And rootkits certainly exist in Linux. Let's have a look at a blog post from Jonathan Riddell's diary and the security advisory. Last month we moved the Neon archive to a new server, so packages got built on our existing server, then uploaded to the new server. Checking the config, it seemed I'd made a nasty error of leaving it open to the world, rather than requiring an SSH gateway to access the app's repository, so anyone scanning around could have uploaded packages. There's no reason to think it's happened, but the default in security is to be paranoid for any possibility. Correct and reasonable, yes. The security advisory is out, the archives have been wiped, and packages in the user version of the KDE Neon have been rebuilt. So you can upgrade now to get new packages, or for extra security, do a reinstall. And the new user edition ISO is out, so currently the developer edition is being rebuilt at the time of recording. The security advisory is here, and yeah, that pretty much covers what I have read out. So all packages have larger version numbers than were previously in the archive. Okay, so that's correct. So the apps package manager will pick up the new versions. As we can see from the website at time of recording, the packages are currently being rebuilt in the developer edition. So just how big a risk is it with having, like say, an SSH port exposed to the world? Well, unfortunately, there is this search engine called Shodan, which is the Google of finding devices on the internet. Not owned by Google or anything, it is as simple as Google. Oh, let's do a search for SSH, for example. And you see a list of IPs, uh, the version of SSH, and in cases there, even the operating system. So that is just one example, and I think I just have to sign up to get more results. Yes, I do. Uh, I think I did some time ago, but I can't remember what my ID was. So to summarise, it was an issue with the security of the KDE Neon repositories. It has nothing to do with the open source nature of Linux, and it does not affect any other Linux distribution, just KDE Neon. I think reinstalling is probably going to be the best way forward. I don't want it to be, but okay. If you're going to go down that route, then I recommend you just back up your documents data onto another hard drive, reinstall the operating system, and then import your data back in. If there are any rootkits hidden within that data, it does not matter because it will not be active upon a new reinstall of the operating system. And if there is anything hidden there, well, you may have a chance to see it on a new install. So, that was the issue with the KDE Neon repositories. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.